Coming up on today's episode of Airborne Unmanned, Leonardo invests in startup drone company. Wave Drone will begin flight testing at Griffith Airfield, and a drone pilot is fined by the FAA. Welcome to Aero News Network's Airborne Unmanned, a weekly news program covering all things unmanned. In partnership with AUVSI, the Association for Unmanned Vehicle Systems International. I'm Sophie Herlock. Leonardo is investing in Sky Dweller Aero Incorporated, a U.S. and Spanish startup specializing in large-scale solar-powered unmanned air systems. The initiative will result in the development and deployment of the Sky Dweller drone, a fully electric unmanned aircraft capable of carrying large payloads with unlimited range and ultra-persistent endurance. Sky Dweller has the capability to operate from existing air bases around the world, deploy thousands of miles away to areas of high need, and remain overhead for orders of magnitude longer than current aircraft. The first phase focuses on converting the aircraft from a manned platform into an optionally piloted vehicle. The second step of the project will culminate in the first production aircraft designed solely for unmanned operations. Autonomous flights of the OPV are projected for 2020, and the first production unmanned Man model is expected in 2021. Leonardo will act as the prime contractor for commercial opportunities in Italy, the United Kingdom, Poland, and NATO. Leonardo Aircraft Division will participate in development and engineering activities. Now, let's take a quick look at news making rounds of the unmanned vehicle communities. It's time for today's Unmanned Minute. Terra Drone Indonesia conducted a demonstration to showcase the advantages of UAV-based pipeline monitoring to Indonesian oil and gas group Medco Energy International TBKPT. The demo was completed back on November 15th and per Wakarta, West Java, using industry-leading Terra Bromor C4I UAS manufactured by Terra Drone Group Company C Astral. FLIR Systems introduced its FLIR Stormcaster family of unmanned aerial system payloads for its Sky Ranger R70 and R80D Sky Raider airframes. The new line launches with two multi-sensor products, Stormcaster T, which delivers continuous zoom and long wave infrared imaging, and Stormcaster L, which provides ultra-low light imaging, tracking, and mapping. To demonstrate the capability of its fixed-wing drones and drone sensors for precision agriculture, SenseFly partnered with Trimble and Microsoft. SenseFly's product will be distributed through the Trimble Agriculture Network to provide direct access to its products for agriculture professionals across North America and Europe. SenseFly's EVX and its suite of sensors provide efficient crop insights throughout the growing season, which will help agronomists, farmers, and researchers accurately plan and manage their operations. After a 20-year run, AMA Expo has come to an end. AMA officials announced a decision at this year's AMA Expo West after the AMA Executive Council voted to end the show. The AMA has instead decided to explore multiple district events across the country in 2020 and in the years to follow. Wave Drone will begin comprehensive flight testing of its carbon nanotube drones and drone intercept technologies at Griffith International Airport in Rome, New York. Griffiths International Airport is one of just seven FAA-designated UAV test sites in the United States and is responsible to the FAA and NASA to supervise operations for UAS testing. The facility is part of New York's 50-mile UAS corridor between Syracuse and Rome, New York, facilitating BBLOS testing. Although the Wave Drone test staff is FAA licensed, testing the company's advanced technologies in Palo Alto, California would create an extra burden due to safety concerns of certain altitudes, distances, and busy air spaces and would not otherwise comply with existing federal regulations, the company said. A California drone pilot flying illegally in Las Vegas lost control of his Phantom 3 only to have the vehicle fly off and hit terrain on the side of a runway at McCarran International Airport. Ruben Bersiago was attempting to shoot video of a downtown Las Vegas landmark in violation of regulations when the vehicle departed control and flew over two miles away to KLAS at altitudes as high as 450 feet. Bersiago didn't seem concerned about the safety and legal violations, even posting to social media about losing the drone and controlled airspace surrounding McCarran.
The wrecked drone was found by airport workers who handed it over to the LVPD. And that's when the FAA got involved, who traced it to Bursiaga and started an investigation. Following a period in which Bursiaga failed to properly respond to the FAA, he was fined $14,700, an amount which has since increased to about $20,000 because he has failed to pay the fine or even appeal the matter properly. The FAA is not impressed with late protests of the matter, stating that in this situation, the pilot committed a litany of serious violations and really flew the drone carelessly and recklessly. And that wraps up this week's episode of Airborne Unmanned. Don't forget to click subscribe and to check us out on Twitter and on Facebook. For more information on the innovative world of all things unmanned, head over to auvsi.org and airborne-unmanned.net. Have a wonderful rest of your day, and I'll see you tomorrow.